happening. Alright, sorry for the background noise, but I actually had to get a new V6 hot end for a project I'm working on, on this one here, converting this one over. Um, even though this thing actually looks like a V6 hot end, it's actually like a combination of a Creality MK8 and a V6, but the threading is different, it's weird, you know. Um, but I was searching on Amazon and I saw this thing for 20 bucks. Um, I couldn't believe it. I was like, dude, 20 bucks for this? But I'll show you some of the unique features. I mean, look at this thing. Anodized blue aluminum, multi-copper, um, even a brass heater block. I don't even know how they do it for so cheap in China, man. Like, even just the material costs. I, I wouldn't even be able to build this stuff here. You know, even the material cost, the amount of copper, brass, it probably cost me over 20 bucks. Yeah, even came with a sock. Yeah, I don't know how they can build this stuff for so cheap. You know, I think the, I mean, the, the material cost is obviously a lot cheaper over there too. I mean, they have zero regulation, but let me open this up. Okay, here's a closer look at it. But as you can see, it's a, man, it's a copper heat break in there. And uh, like I said, even brass is a better thermal conductor than um, uh, aluminum, you know? Like, the best thermal conductor is, is, is copper. Well, it's not the best, just the best low-cost thermal conductor. Um, a couple screws that holds it on there, but it's... So the idea here was I was going to put this on the, uh, the Orca extruder. So if you guys have ever seen this or you're new to my channel, um, this is something I designed uh, a couple months ago. Um, but I'm going to put that on here. Because this is eventually, yeah, I'm going to convert this over to a Core XY printer. But I needed actually another printer. So the other printer you saw, I just showed you, was my 40R Craigslist printer. But I have to uh, get that going so I can print the parts out for this. Um, because I'm going to be doing, well, since I'm actually designing the new parts for the Core XY, um, it's going to be called the Ultra Cube. Um, then I need to, in case I need to make a change, I need a printer that's big enough to be able to print the changes. And now I get sidetracked. Um, okay, let's. Uh, yeah, yeah. Alright, so just like I said, the cool thing about that extruder I designed was it's just three screws, the whole thing comes out. So if you ever have a jam, it just comes right out. Alright, so cool, cool upgrade. You know, a lot of this stuff is probably kind of unnecessary, but it definitely looks cool and I'm sure it functions. But really the main thing is you, what you don't want is heat creep. Heat creep is when the, the hot, the, the, the temperature from the, the heater block creeps up to the top here and your plastic will start melting up here and it will get soft but then it will create a jam in the whole system. So you'll notice that like if you're printing and all of a sudden it just stops printing it's because you had too much heat creep or you're not cooling it off enough and it got soft too, too high up and, and uh, created a blockage. Alright, um, I gotta get this off because that's not gonna, f this little thing here is not gonna work for my, uh, hopefully I can pull it out, Let's see. So I was able to get that little Bowden tube thing out of there pretty fast, pretty easy. So with a with a, any sort of like a BMG type hot end, you need to put like a little small piece of Bowden tube that feeds from the hot end or to the thing up into there. So I'm gonna cut a little piece off. Hopefully it's the same or, or pretty close to the same. So if you're, if you're not familiar with V6 hot ends, um, it's 1.5 millimeter for the thermistor and two millimeter for the uh, heater cartridge. All right, there it is. Sorry for a lot of background noise, man. Um, yeah, for 20 bucks. It's incredible. But, yeah, it looks pretty snazzy. Yeah, anodized blue. I don't know, like I said, man, for 20 bucks, I mean, this thing's anodized, it has brass, it has copper. I, I don't know how they do that. So, alright, link down below if you want it. Or if you saw it on Amazon, that's what it looks like. Cool.